ho, ho. Dark hollow bells, sweet silver bells, all seem to say, throw cares away. Welcome to Wheat Ridge's holiday celebration on Ridge at 38. We're standing here at High Court and 38th as people are gathering and going up and down the street enjoying holiday fair and festivities. The holiday celebration includes some activities for the kids, um, there's crafts and arts projects, there's Santa, there's carriage rides, there's a little train from the Polar Express, we have a stage full of singers, we've got food trucks and restaurants, and we have artisans embedded in our local businesses. We've done holiday Christmas lighting before, but it's grown into something that is a much more a larger celebration. And I can't believe the way people have come out. It's freezing cold as it is, but still we've got lots of happy people enjoying what we brought to the city. And we've got elves everywhere. I think Santa Claus is missing quite a few elves because they seem to be all over here. I think people are really enjoying this. It makes us all feel really good and warm inside, hoping it'll get out to our fingers and our, and our, <laughs> and our feet but it's really worth doing. I so welcome our citizens as well as we've got visitors coming from around the region, which is wonderful. And we have tons of great activities, businesses, crafts, that kind of thing. We have Santa, so you can come take pictures with him and horse-drawn carriages, anything you can think of, we've got it. A great event for families because you can bring your kids down here, go see Santa, get free pictures, have activities the entire night long, and you don't have to worry about paying for anything. It's free, it's uh, available to the entire community, and it's just to get you guys out here and uh, welcome you to the Wheat Ridge community. Hi guys, would you like some hot apple cider over here or some hot chocolate? The holiday celebration, the Ridge of 38, it does an amazing job of bringing the entire community together. People from all over come for the celebration, as you can see, and it's great for people of all ages. This is a fantastic event. We're really glad that everybody is coming out in the cold and braving it even though the Broncos are playing and winning and enjoying all the fun festivities here in Wheat Ridge. Having the uh, kids get a chance to see Santa Claus is probably the uh, best part of today, just getting them a chance to get a picture taken with them. It's been awesome. This is a great event for uh, the city of Wheat Ridge. It's just a great opportunity to get uh, our folks out onto our main street here on 38th Avenue and to patronize some of our new restaurants and our new shops uh, such as Wheat Recyclery. And uh, it's just a great night to, uh, for the family to enjoy the holidays. The holiday lighting event began in the early 1990s with lighting display at the Wheat Ridge Municipal Building. It grew over the years when additional lights were added and activities were offered for the community. In 2010, uh, the event moved down to the Wheat Ridge Recreation Center to take advantage of the inside area uh, for activities, which included stocking, decorating, and visits with Santa. In 2013, the city had an opportunity to partner with Wheat Ridge 2020 to move the holiday celebration to the Ridge at 38. With permission from the school district, the city was able to coordinate the lighting of the spruce tree in front of Wheat Ridge Middle School with approximately 14,000 lights. The parks and recreation staff is responsible for much of the same type of activities that they were when the lighting celebration was held at City Hall and the Recreation Center. They're responsible for coordinating the lighting. They're at the event uh, to flip the switch when the countdown begins. The recreation staff programs the Hayride, the Carolers, uh, the Kids Activity Center, which involved uh, this year a jingle bell bracelet, stocking decorating, and a snowball toss. The planning for this event is actually pretty quite extensive. It pretty much starts in July. We start to book our vendors, uh, we line up our elves. Santa, of course, is sometimes hard to get a hold of. It's a pretty extensive process, but we really love to put it on. We're out here building the s'mores. We've got the um, uh, cold s'mores, but people have the opportunity to heat them up in the fires, stay a little bit warm, and enjoy a little bit of sugar. So. Uh, I think everybody's enjoying themselves, so am I. Wright Crow's Pizza has offered up their little uh, outdoor patio space and their fire uh, for the s'mores, so uh, we couldn't be more appreciative. Well, with the temperature what it is, I think the last I saw was below uh, 15, so you couldn't ask for more than uh, having a couple of little fires going and the ability to make some nice warm s'mores. We've been putting on tons and tons of tattoos on the kids all night, fake ones that is. And just uh, having some hot cocoa, the carolers were amazing and this thing's been a blast. Tons of stuff going on, a lot of people coming out. Never did anything like this when my shop was in Denver, that's for sure. <laughs>
The elves are helping the kids make uh, Christmas stockings and we're glazing pottery ornaments. The 38th has been completely revitalized. It brings the whole town together um, with the new restaurants and shops. It's great for residents that haven't been in before to bring their kids in and see what we're all about, and, uh, see what kids' classes we offer, and a great way for the community to connect. Everyone all ready to light the uh, Christmas tree up tonight? Fantastic, glad you came out here and weathered out the uh, conditions today. I can't believe how many people out here. In case you don't notice it, it's cold, and, and it's great that you're here. The hospital is so uh, honored that we were the presenting sponsor at the Wheat Ridge Tree Lighting. This is an amazing event tonight. I heard there was over a thousand people and on such a cold night it's just amazing that people came out to support the community. Oh it's great. It's great to see everybody come out. It really is. You see all the neighbors and everybody coming through and people you haven't seen in a while. It's great to kick off the holiday season. Yeah. It's really great to be out here with all the kids and families. It's a wonderful time to celebrate and see the magic through the eyes of a kid. I love having the little ones getting their hands sticky on the marshmallows, enjoying the train ride, seeing the horses, and of course the requisite Santa trip. My favorite thing about this event is, is just seeing all the people out uh, having fun, even with this cold weather and a Broncos game on. Uh, they're still out enjoying a uh, community event. I think it's super important for the community because it brings people and families together and it helps encourage all this camaraderie we're hoping to get into Wheat Ridge. It's amazing for 38th. I just see a ton of revitalization going on over here, you know. This side of Sheridan is so different from the other side. I mean, everything's just getting filled up over here. I love putting on this event, all the planning that goes into it. It's fun for me to see the joy on everybody else's faces. I think I enjoy bringing holiday cheer to other people and I hope they have a great time. I just want to say thank you to everyone who came out here. Even though it is cold, it's making this entire event such a great success and we couldn't do it without you. I'm pretty happy to, to see so much wonderful community spirit. That's, that's good stuff. Merry Christmas and happy holidays to all of you. This is a great event. It's great for Wheat Ridge 2020 to be a part of helping all of this happen, partnering with the businesses and with the city uh, to make this great celebration occur. We hope you'll come and join us next year for an even bigger holiday celebration on Ridge at 38.